Jessie, 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 why oh why doesn't she like me? You can't imagine the number of emails I get from guys all wanting to know the exact same thing. Why doesn't she like me? Look, maybe she isn't replying to texts or calls, maybe she's been blowing off dates, maybe you can't get that girl to even notice you, maybe the conversation doesn't go anywhere, maybe you've been friend zoned. The fact is, you like a girl, but she doesn't like you, and you want to know why she doesn't like you, and if this keeps going on very much longer, my friend, you may very well end up alone. Well, no worries, because today I'm giving you the six most common reasons that girls don't like a guy. And you're probably doing at least one of these things, if not two or three. But I guarantee you, if you get all six of these things handled, you'll get the attention of any girl that you have your eye on. And you'll have girls texting you back, you'll have girls showing up on dates, you'll have girls giving you little glances out of the corner of their eyes, checking you out and you'll have your pick of the perfect girlfriend. So reason number one that girls don't like you is your negative attitude. Are you always complaining about other people, complaining about the government, complaining about women, complaining about your life, complaining about your job? Do you focus on what you're lacking, like how you wished you had more money, or you wished you were taller, or you wished you were better looking? Do you get caught up in petty bullshit drama, like how your parents did this to you, or how your friend did that to you, or a celebrity did this, or some politician did that? Do you like to play the victim card, like how women have screwed you over, or how the government is keeping you down, or how your family screwed you over, or how your genes are a handicap? Do you have a negative attitude? Are you just not fun in general? And if you like to put out negative vibes, if that's what you're resonating with, it's going to turn girls off. It's going to drive girls away like gazelles running away from a cackling hyena. Reason number two that girls don't like you, your appearance and your hygiene. Does it look like you have your shit together? Does it look like you even give a damn? Tell me, you walk into a public place like a grocery store or a college campus and how many of the men look disheveled with wrinkled clothes or clothes that don't fit or a boring shirt or messy hair or they're out of shape? At least 19 out of 20 men in the general population look boring, dull, and average. But the fact is, as human beings, we judge each other based on our visual presentation and how we present ourselves. And if you're looking sloppy, it does you no favors in attracting the ladies. Does your breath stink? Do your armpits stink? Are your clothes wrinkled or plain or boring or too big? Is your hair out of whack? Is your skin and your complexion marred and spotty? Is your posture stooped and lazy? Do you look overweight or physically like crap? Look, take a look in the mirror and be brutally honest with yourself. What do you need to change to get on the ball and look more presentable? The third reason that girls don't like you is because you are needy as hell. You're texting her too much. You're thinking about her all the time. You're complimenting her when she doesn't deserve it. You're holding her up on a pedestal and you just wanna lom yourself onto the girl. You only feel good when she's around. You're trying to draw your positive emotions from the girl instead of generating your own positive emotions from within yourself. You're hypersensitive to every little positive signal she gives you and hypersensitive to every little negative signal she gives you. And because you're so damn needy, you act weird around her and maybe even a little creepy and then you whine, well, why is the girl ignoring me? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you're needy as fuck and that really kills attraction. The fourth reason girls don't like you is because you have nothing to offer her. Is your favorite activity playing PlayStation in your underwear? Do you spend all your time watching sports? Do you spend all your time on Facebook watching silly distracting videos? Is the food that you eat pre-processed garbage and fast food? Do you work at a boring job that you hate but you don't feel motivated enough or ambitious enough to move up and out of it? If a woman could spy on you and saw how you spent your average week, would she want to be a part of your life? And if the answer is no, then you need to consider making some radical lifestyle changes. Reason number five that girls don't like you is you're not expressive enough. What do I mean by expressive? I mean facially expressive. You've got one look going on and you're too serious. You're not smiling enough. You're not playful enough. You're not teasing enough. You're not excited enough. You're not passionate enough. Not facially expressive enough, but also not expressive enough in your storytelling. It's always like, how was your day? What did you do? How did you like school? No, you need to be telling her stories about yourself with some passion and lots of details to make your stories interesting and entertaining. What it comes down to, you are stifled. You're like, ugh, you're compressing your body, you're stiff, you're holding back, you're filtering yourself, you're trying to think of the right thing to say and censoring everything and that's predictable and it's boring. Reason number six that girls don't like you is because you're expecting them not to like you and you act accordingly and you collect evidence 
that reinforces your negative beliefs, creating a vicious circle, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. For example, you think to yourself, well, girls don't like me. I don't know why, but I do know this. I suck. Then you see a cute girl and you go to talk to her, but because you think that girls don't like you, you are nervous as hell. Your palms are sweating. You can't make eye contact. Your voice sounds like a meek little mouse and you can't think of what to say next because you don't feel worthy. And the girl's not feeling it. It's not that attractive. And she excuses herself because you're acting a little bit weird. And then you think to yourself, well, there you go. That's the evidence right there. Girls don't like me. I've got all the evidence I need. I'm never talking to another girl again. Look, when you go into social interactions thinking that you suck, it's going to cause you to act like shit, which will give you shit reactions. And then you'll see that as the evidence that you're looking for that you really do suck, which will reinforce your belief that you do suck and will cause future interactions to go even worse, causing you to gather even more evidence that girls don't like you. So my friend, you could be stuck in a negative downward reinforcing loop between your negative beliefs and your negative performance feeding on each other. So there you have it, my friend, the six reasons women aren't feeling you and why you're left out alone and in the cold. But that's why I created Girlfriend Express. It solves these six problems for you. It shows you how to ditch the negative attitude and feel happier, how to get your appearance under control so that you're in the top 1% of best dressed guys that girls crave, how to replace that neediness with rock solid confidence, how to build an awesome lifestyle in an affordable way that girls want to be a part of, how to become expressive and never run out of things to say, how to break out of negative thought patterns that become self-fulfilling prophecies and are ruining your life. Yep, Girlfriend Express shows you how to do all that and more. Simply click on the link in the description below or click on the link you see right here on this video. All right, you made it to the bonus section. So why aren't girls feeling you? Why don't girls like you? It's a very good question. Think back to medieval times, hundreds of years ago, relationships were basically like arranged marriages in the sense that most people didn't travel more than 10 miles from where they lived and the church was the center point of where people would meet every week. So in very smaller populations, the number of fertile women was very limited and there was no travel except for foot travel. So you couldn't walk more than a couple of miles. So your choice of girls was maybe three or four different women and typically parents would talk to each other and match their children up with one another. So basically you would be matched up, you'd have kids maybe age 16, 17, 18, and disease would finish you off at a relatively young age, maybe in your 20s, maybe in your 30s. A couple people lived into their 70s, but it was pretty rare. So basically in that kind of situation, since you were matched up in what is essentially an arranged marriage, you could be negative, you could be drunk, you could be physically abusive, you could be antisocial and just people keeping to yourself. You could be like a workaholic uh, and never talk to your woman. You could be sexually abusive, on and on and on. That woman was pretty much stuck with you where she was matched up with you with a parent by the parents and that was the end of that. So we really human beings aren't really evolved to be these like action takers where I'm going to improve myself. I'm going to learn how to become a good dancer. I'm going to learn how to be a good conversationalist. I'm going to learn how to be a snappy dresser who walks with style and learns how to be confident and learns how to make eye contact and goes to the gym and get buff because we never had that evolutionary pressure on ourselves because in the past everything was basically arranged or your options were extremely limited and you just ended up with a girl by default. Nowadays, we are in modern capitalism. It's a total and free market. The advantage is that, you know, you could travel for a couple hundred dollars to the other side of the world. You can meet girls in Thailand or South America or China or Japan or go to an exotic country in Eastern Europe or go to a different part of your own country, say to the other coast go to the beach. You can do that for a couple hundred dollars, a little bit of your time. You just have endless options. You can get on a dating app and you have the selection of thousands of different women. 
So it's a great time to be alive in the sense that you have endless choice. Now the downside of that is you also have lots of male competition because it's a free market. There are men out there that are like, wow, I'm gonna take advantage of all this new technology. I'm gonna take advantage of all this knowledge at my fingertips. I'm gonna learn how to dance. I'm gonna learn how to be a great dresser. I'm going to go to the gym and get in shape and eat well, eat healthy food. I'm going to learn how to be a great conversationalist. I'm gonna learn what makes women attracted to men. I'm going to take advantage of all the knowledge at my fingertips. If I have to watch YouTube videos or read books or what have you, I'm going to take advantage of the modern technology. Like I can learn about what food is going to give me the most energy. I'm going to become an extreme action taker. So if you want beautiful women, you are up against more competition. You have more choices, but because it's an open market, you also have that hard competition coming down on your shoulders and you don't necessarily have that genetic drive within yourself through evolutionary programming to be an action taker yourself. We humans basically want to conserve time and energy. We want to do as little as possible that we can get away with and still get the results that we want. So your brain might be telling you, hey, let's just play PlayStation all day and sit in our underwear and eat fast food and watch funny little cat videos or watch sports. Your brain is telling you to do that because that is the medieval man brain talking to you or your caveman brain talking to you. That's not going to get you the girls anymore because in the past, parents would just be like, let's arrange something. That doesn't happen anymore. So now you have to be putting the evolutionary pressure on yourself to do better, to actually learn what it takes to become attractive to women, to put that effort into it and resist that desire to kind of just lay back and conserve time and energy and do as little as possible. Unfortunately, our school system fails us because we're really not taught what we need to learn in school. I think our educational system is a bit of a scam or at least it's certainly outdated. You know, it's really nice to learn history, but the fact is you can learn history later in life reading a good book or watching some video. We learn how what an isosceles triangle is, but we don't know how to balance a checkbook. We don't learn how to socialize with people. We don't know, learn how to present ourselves to other people. So we are crippled later in life. Well, Girlfriend Express is a program that I've created to continue that education, to fill in the gaps of what you missed in school, to learn how to be social, to learn how to take action, to learn how to be attractive to a girl, to learn how to carry a conversation in a way that sparks the girl's interest and gets her sexually excited and into you and want to be your girlfriend. So simply click on the button you're going to see here on this screen. Check out the link in the description below and check out Girlfriend Express. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little bonus material. I'll talk to you later. Jesse out.